We have a follow-up this morning on the Estevan Gomez Monument in Bangor. You might remember Gomez was a Portuguese explorer who kidnapped Native Americans 500 years ago. Last Friday, the controversial monument honoring him in Bangor was removed. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell joins us live to tell us where it went and what's next for the spot it used to be. Good morning, Alex. Hey Sam, good morning. After several days in storage, the monument was dropped off at its new home yesterday morning. The Esteban Gomez Monument, which the Penobscot Nation had called on the city of Bangor to remove since the summer, now rests at the Bangor Historical Society. The upper portion of the cross was, excuse me, the upper cross portion of the monument was dropped off by the Department of Public Works. The Historical Society's curator says after some renovation, the monument is expected to be on display for all to see with historical and cultural context, ensuring no history is erased. We're going to have some site work done in the spring uh, to really give it a permanent, more permanent home and uh, get some sign appropriate signage out for it. Uh, hopefully going to be working with the Penobscot Nation to get that signage exactly the way it should be written. And uh, we're going to go from there and hopefully make a little, uh, little landscaping around it. Now, it's the hope of the Penobscot Nation and the recommendation from Bangor's Cultural De Development Commission that a new monument will go up in the city honoring the contributions of the indigenous peoples of the area. Live in studio this morning, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.